hey guys Bikila here and welcome back to another video so in today's tutorial I'll be creating this halter top um it has different names some people like to call it the famous Pinterest top some people like to call it the halter top it just has a whole lot of names but um yeah this is what I'm gonna be making for you guys today it's super easy to follow it's just the same thing as how you'd make a bralette and all the steps are really simple to follow so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and also watch out for the bag tutorial that's going to come out as well it's going to be the like matching bag for this top so also watch out for that video and thank you guys so so much for all the love and support and now let's get started So for today's video, I'll be using a white yarn, a purple yarn, a pair of scissors, and a 5mm crochet hook. So for the yarn, they're actually both the same brand, so it's going to be the same thing. The only thing that's going to be different is the colors. Um, it's 100% acrylic. It's a worsted weight yarn. And yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using for today's video. So this is what we're going to be making first. And this is the bra cup. And I know the bra cup looks like extremely big. And trust me, it is. And that's, what, that's how we're going to make the bra cup. So um, usually a regular bra cup would be like this. But today, the backup we're going to be making is going to be longer. And it's going to look something like this. So, it's the exact same process as how, do you, how you'd make this one. It's the exact same thing. You only have to make your beginning chains longer. And I'll show you how to alter your size in the next clip so since the bra cups are gonna be identical I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I'm doing for this bra cup this is what I'm gonna be t teaching you guys so it's the exact same thing for the both bra cups so first off you'd make a slip knot and you chain a chain that is long enough to fit from your under boob to the top of your boob like to the very top of your boob so mine's gonna be about 28 chains so after making 28 chains or after making the chain that is long enough from your under boob to the top of your boob you're going to add an extra chain, so you're going to chain one and right off, you're going to insert a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook. A single crochet is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. And we're going to insert a single crochet all the way till we get to the last chain. So right now, I have currently made single crochets all the way up to the second to the last chain. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch my colors. And how we do that is we would insert our hook, yarn over and pull through until we have two loops on our hook. And then we're going to grab the next color and then wrap it around your hook. And then from here, you're just going to chain one and then turn. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the purple yarn to make our single crochets. 
But while doing that, we're gonna take the white yarn and then tuck it under. And we're gonna be doing this because we don't wanna keep cutting and reattaching and cutting. Like this one I did, I was cutting and then reattaching. And then this is just turned into a whole disaster because how are you gonna like hide all of this, right? So you do, really don't wanna do this. So doing this is gonna be like the best option for you. So what you're gonna do is to take the white yarn under and then single crochet inside it. Like, I don't know how to explain, but you just single crochet on top of it. And then that's how you hide the yarn. So you're gonna make a single crochet into every single stitch till you get to the top part of your bra cup. So single crochet all the way till you get to the top part and I'm gonna meet you guys when I'm done. Um, currently I've gotten to the top part of my, my bra cup and as you can see the white yarn is perfectly hidden. You cannot see any white yarn. So everything's neat and clean. So what we're gonna do from here is to insert three single crochets on that top stitch of the bra cup. So anytime you're making a bra cup, always, always, always insert three single crochets. I've said this in my bralette video. I even have a video on how to make a up so if you're new to all of this you can go and check that video out but always make sure you place three um, single crochets into that top stitch and that's what I'm gonna do right now so so one two and into that same stitch we're still gonna place two more single crochets making that three in total and this is gonna enable your um your bra cup to grow longer and even wider so yeah keep single crocheting all the way around the bra cup and you're just gonna repeat this whole process and keep um placing three single crochets every time you make a row so every time you go back you're just gonna keep chaining one and single crocheting three times on the top stitch so I'm gonna go do this and I'm gonna meet you guys when I'm here okay so right now we're at the last stitch I think yeah we're at the last stitch of our bra cup and we're not just gonna change the colors because we're always gonna make two rows of each color so i'm gonna go one more time over again and make um a row for purple and then i'm gonna change the colors to to white so chain one and then keep going with your purple color and don't forget when you get to the top stitch you're always gonna chain you're always gonna make three single crochets at the top stitch so right now I'm at the top stitch and what I'm gonna do is to single crochet three times into the same stitch so one two and three always 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 do this it makes a very big difference so keep going until you get to the ending of the row so once we're done with the purple we're gonna change the color to white and we're just gonna keep re repeating the same thing over and over again until you get to your preferred length or width or size or your or your preference or whatever so yeah 
so i want to change my colors to white because i have finished two rows of purple so what i'm gonna do is to insert my hook and then act like i am making a single crochet then once i have tools on my hook i'm gonna get the next color which is white and then i'm gonna yarn over and pull through then chain one turn and i'm just gonna keep repeating the same thing that's basically it so yeah i'm just gonna keep repeating the exact same thing i'm gonna go so i'm gonna go over like this over like this and when i get here i'm gonna sing single crochet three times and then i'm gonna come back chain one repeat the same thing and then i'm gonna keep going and going and going and that's basically it for the bra cups so i'm gonna go make my bra cup my second bra cup and i'm gonna meet you guys when i'm done i have finished my two bra cups and they are the exact same size so what i'm gonna do now is to remind you guys if you haven't made your two bra cups go make it because this is where i'm gonna attach the both of them and continue with the next step so the next step is to attach the both of them so i'm just gonna insert my hook into that space and then insert my hook into this first space and then into this space as well and then i'm gonna attach the both of them so i'm gonna chain two and then pull through and then the both of them are attached together so what i'm gonna do next right now is to create the body portion and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this side off because i don't need it anymore so yeah i'm just gonna start creating the body portion So for the body portion, I'm just going to make a slip knot and then I'm going to make a total of 15 chains. Now this is going to, um, this is going to be different if you're a different size because I'm a size medium. So if you're like a size small or large or extra small or, you know, you have to like make it so that it fits your size so make more chains if you're a larger size and then make less chains if you're a smaller size so i'm gonna make a total of 15 chains so i am done with my 15 chains and what i'm gonna do is to Put this all the way upside down and then i'm gonna attach the the chain onto my bra cup so insert the hook and then yarn over pull through and then make a slip stitch so what i'm gonna do from here is i'm gonna insert single crochets all the way all around till I get to this side of the top so single crochet into every single hole that you find Okay, so one reminder is to try to make sure that you always tuck in these loose ends. So we see why we always hiding the yarn. Because if we didn't hide the yarn, it would be such a disaster like I showed you before. So yeah, just make sure you hide and you tuck in 
these loose ends so it's just a little more neater so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going I'm gonna go all the way till I get to here and I'll meet you guys when I'm done so right now I have finished single crocheting all the way around those sides and I'm just gonna insert my last single crochet so what I'm gonna do from here is to chain another um, 15 chains so one two three four so what I'm gonna do now is to turn my work and then chain like okay so turn turn your work oh I'm gonna turn my work and then insert a single crochet into those chains so you're gonna insert a single crochet into those chains and then when we're when you're done you're gonna single crochet back all the way until you get to this point so like I said once you're done single crocheting everything you're gonna come over here and then start placing single crochets all through the borders for this side and then we're gonna go all the way and then we're gonna single crochet here on here as well so right now I have single crocheted all across the way and I want to change my color to purple now so um, we already know how to change colors so it's basically insert yarn over pull through till you have two loops and then we're gonna introduce the next color and pull it through then chain one and we're gonna do the exact same thing where we did for the um, the cups we're gonna hide the white yarn under cuz I don't want to um, cut and attach and then cut and attach but if you want to cut and attach you can totally do that method that's fine but for me I don't want to do that method so I'm just gonna hide the yarn under so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna single crochet my way all across this side like this and then when I'm done I'm gonna do two more rows for the purple so we're always doing two rows for each color so I'm gonna do two rows for purple and then two rows for white till I'm satisfied with the length of the, the top so I'm gonna go ahead and make two rows of purple and then I'll meet you guys when I'm done right now I have made two rows of purple and I just want to change the color to white and I'll show you guys one last time what I'm gonna do to change the colors so chain one turn and this is very very like repetitive we're just making two rows of I'm so sorry about that um just um we're just gonna make two rows of every color so I've made two rows of purple so right now I'm gonna make two rows of white so keep single crocheting all the way and then I'm just gonna repeat two rows of each until I'm satisfied with the length I have finished the body portion for my top and I think I made about um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 rows in total for the body portion and I also made the, um, the first sleeve and it's kind of like a lacy sleeve. 
Um, don't mind this string right here. So right now I'm just gonna attach the next string. So I'm just gonna get my yarn and make a slip knot. And then once I make a slip knot, I am going to I am going to attach. So I'm going to place my hook into that middle stitch right there and then I am going to insert my hook into that slip knot and then pull through and then I'm going to chain three and into that same space that I single that I made the chain I am going to make a double crochet. And now right now we have another hole so what we're going to do is chain three and then into this same space we're going to insert a double crochet so chain three and into that space insert a double crochet chain three and double crochet and we're gonna go all the way till you have your desired um, length. I'm not gonna make mine long cause this is only gonna go through the back. So I'm not even gonna make a very long strap. So one, two, three, and then double crochet. So I'm gonna go all the way and then I'll meet you guys once I'm happy with the length. Okay, so I have made my strap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it one more time so we can make it more sturdy. So what I'm going to do is to chain three and then single crochet into that first hole, then chain three again and then single crochet into that hole then chain three, single crochet into that next hole. And that's what we're gonna do all through until we get to this part. So I have gone all the way and my strap is now thicker. So what I'm gonna do now is to place a single crochet into that same hole and then into that next stitch, I'm gonna place a slip stitch, then chain two, and then I'm gonna cut off my yarn from here. So right now we are done with the, with the neck strap. So what we're going to do now is to make these straps that go like this. So get any yarn color of your choice. I'm going to use white. And then what I'm going to do is to make a slip knot and chain a total of 200 chains so I have made a total of 200 chains and I just wanted to remind you that if you are a bigger size or a smaller size you might want to chain um, less or more chains it just depends on your size so yeah I have made my 200 chains and what I'm going to do is to go over the chains and I'm going to make a um, slip stitch over those chains. So insert a slip stitch into every single chain of the rope. After
after going over your chains with um slip stitch you are going to actually chain two and then cut off the excess yarn and then pull through and then what I like to do is I like to make three knots to make sure that it's secure and to make sure that it's very tight so yeah, I'm gonna cut off these ends and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position my um my top so I want this side to be facing like the world so I'm gonna face it backwards cuz yeah and I don't want this side to be facing everybody else so I'm gonna put it inwards and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put this inwards and also put this other part inwards and then I'm going to start fixing my strap in there so grab your strap and then insert your hook into the nearest hole so somewhere around there and then pull through and then from here insert and then pull through And then make a, an X and then insert and pull through and then from here insert and make an X and then pull through so th th that's how you make your straps and everything and then what you're going to do is just make a little bow or a knot. And then that's basically everything for this top. Okay, so this is what it looks like. When I turn it, this is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure to cut off all the loose ends like here and here and everywhere i'm just gonna make everything neater and just like trim off all the um thread that i don't need and that's basically it for this top i'm gonna try it out i'm kind of scared because i think it's too big but i'm just gonna try it out and then i'll get back to you guys so guys this is how they turned out i wasn't even able to take that much pictures and videos but these were the pictures i was able to take they didn't turn out bad i liked them and yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video thank you guys so so much for all the love and support on my last video i really appreciate it thank you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video